So, hey everyone, I'm Alice Tepani from India, and I will be talking about my ESOC 2022 project, bringing Magic's Feather to Magic Weather Maps to Matplotlib. And first of all, I would like to thank my mentors because this would have, wouldn't have been possible without their support, James, Sylvie, Stefan, and Badovin. So, next slide, please. So just to give an outline of how this talk will go, uh, is that first I'll introduce what the magics and the MagPy libraries are. Then I'll just give some examples about how it looked before, before the start of the project. Then I'll explain the motivation and the aim, the roadmap, the current progress, uh, the challenges I faced, and what's next. So next slide, please. So to introduce, magics is a meteorologically oriented graphical library, which was written using Fortran and C++, and it is responsible for visualizing meteorological data on different projections of the globe. So you could take any projections of the globe, uh, maybe you would like to present the um, weather of Europe, or maybe Asia, or maybe the whole world together. So Magix, Magix gives you the option to take some predefined um, geographical area and present anything, any weather maps that you want to it. This could be something like a heat map about how the temperature is or maybe how the wind is flowing, things like that. But this library was written, I think, way back in 1998. And this was written in Fortran and C++. But nowadays, the most used library is, is Python. So we would like to port this and add functionality so that users can interact with magics using Python. So next slide, please. So that's why two new libraries were introduced. One is Magix Python and one is MagPy. So what Magix Python does is that it interacts with magic so that you don't have to interact with it and uh, basically convert all the things into Python. And finally, we have MagPy, which sits on top of Magix Python and provides a very easy to use user interface to the Magix and Magix Python libraries. So the way in which this works is that uh, you could give it input to a, a, a grip file or a net CDF file and the arguments that you want. You give it to MagPy, which passes it through, a, which basically creates a GeoMap object. This then passes it through the Magix Python library, which creates a macro object. This macro object is, macro object is responsible for uh, communicating with Magix. Now you give everything to the Magix, the Magix plots everything and gives the output in a binary format. Now we need to decode this binary format so that it, we could bring that to Python and Matplotlib. So the binary driver that is there in the Magix Python is responsible for this conversion, the conversion of binary format to a Matplotlib and a Python format. So this Matplotlib format file or uh, object is passed to the GeoMap object, which gives us the output. So you could do many things with the output. So you could either print it and visualize it in a Jupyter notebook, or if you want to save it, you could save it as a PDF or a PNG file. So yeah, next slide, please. So an example of this was uh, on the right side, you can see how Magix works. So it displays a very pretty figure, but uh, while converting everything to Python, uh, there are some steps which need to be taken care of, things like aspect ratio, things like uh, the uh, width of the line, and also made, making text pretty and stuff like that. So before starting of the project, the right side example is what Magic Python's look, Magic's Python looked like. So we wanted to make it pretty and also customizable. So next slide, please. So the motivation of this project is that you could we allow the user to take full control of the library and full control of the plot. And we wanted to make the plots more customizable and interactive so that user can define anything and manipulate the plot in any way that they want. And we also want to provide an easy to use, uh, an easy to use interface for the users. So the first um, the first motivation is driven by the Magix Python library, and the second is the MagPy one. So in um, in terms of the aim, so our aim is that we extend the binary driver to convert the binary format into matplotlib access. And uh, then we extend the MagPy to handle this matplotlib format and provide an easy to use Pythonic interface. And finally, we plan to add the documentation and also the tutorial so that anyone and everyone could get started and even get into advanced about how to use these libraries. Uh, without having to figure out how to actually interact with the Magix library, which is written in Fortran and C++. 
So next slide, please. So to explain how this roadmap looks like, so the first part is actually uh, converting the binary format into the matplotlib format, which is handled by Magix Python. So the first part is improving the Magix Python, which uh, uh, encompasses making the binary driver matplotlib compatible, passing custom matplotlib access, adding color bar and stuff like that. The second is the improving MatPy uh, to make it to make MatPy actually matplotlib compatible again, so that the binary driver could convert it uh, convert the binary file into a matplotlib file and then allow the user to interact with it. And uh, also the conversion of Magix coordinates to matplotlib coordinates, because the coordinates in these two systems are very different. So we need a way to convert and go forward and backward between these two coordinates as well. And the final is creating tutorials so that uh, any user could get started. So we would create like beginner tutorials as well as advanced tutorials so that uh, anyone could get started and use the library. So next slide, please. Yeah, so to talk about our current progress, so the first part that we achieved in the first half is improving the Magix Python. And the second half, in the second half, we'll focus more on MagPy and creating the tutorials. So the updates till now is that we have updated the documentation. We have made the syntax more Pythonic for Magix Python. We took care of the aspect ratio. We improved the text. We improved setting the plot limits. And we also added passing custom matplotlib access to the Magix Python library so that you could you could pass something which is defined in matplotlib. You could just plot the Magix plot on that axis and uh, customize it and do whatever you want with it. And we also added a color bar to it. So for better visualization. Next slide, please. So just to give a demo and just to give an example about how the aspect ratio, the improved text and the setting the plot limit looks like. So if you see the uh, plot on the left side, so before the plot, which I had shown before, so it had some text which did not have transparent background and it was overlapping with the figure. So right now we took care of everything. So we forced the aspect ratio to be equal because we want it to be geographically accurate so that nothing is stretched and the sizes could be scalable. So we took care of the aspect ratio. We improved the text so that it does not overlap with the figure uh, below that. And we also improved the setting the plot limits so that the figure looks pretty overall. And uh, it's also geographically accurate. Next slide, please. So the next thing was to pass a custom matplotlib access. So by plotting, by passing a custom matplotlib access, that means that we could plot, uh, basically we could pass any matplotlib access. So let's say you want to make four figures at once. So this was not previously possible, but right now you could just pass, let's say a subplot of two cross two, a matplotlib subplot, and you could plot different plots on that. So I saw an example on the left in which I basically created two subplots and on one of the plots, I plot a magic spy, magic uh, graph. And on below that, I basically plot a simple scatter plot. So you have the current uh, hold of the matplotlib axis. So you could say you could convey to magic that just plot on this subplot and you could do anything with that. So this basically makes the plots more customizable so that you take control of everything. Next slide, please. And finally, we added the color bar. So the color bar is there for visualization. So let's say you wanted to plot the temperature and you wanted to see how, how the temperature varies according to the geographical area. So um, on the top, you see the color bar plotted by the Magix, um, the Magix library, which is discrete and overlaps with each other. But on the right side, uh, you see the one which is in matplotlib. So what we to do this, what we do is we basically take the metadata being passed by the binary format. So we take that metadata, we basically use it to figure out how the colors look. So the metadata basically passes the legend and the legend has the RGBA colors and the limits. So maybe this temperature is there, this color is there from minus 35 to minus 30 degree and something is there from minus 30 to minus 25 degrees. So we take that, we basically create an image from that and we append that image to the magic plot. This um, this is advantageous in the sense that we don't have to actually change the size of the plot. Whereas if you see the Magix uh, color bar, it actually shrank the plot a little bit. 
But right now, we just append an image to the magic plot so that the aspect ratio is not uh, disturbed. So this color bar uh, on the right, it looks pretty and um, it is fully customizable. So you could take, uh, you could basically manipulate it to set it to anything you want. You could say that you want a continuous, a continuous color bar, or you can say that I want only these sticks in this color bar. So everything is customizable. Yeah, next slide, please. So this has been the progress till now. And uh, so we have taken care of conversion of the binary format to the matplotlib format so that everything is customizable. Now the next part is to actually improve MagPy and to create tutorials. And by improving MagPy, we make sure that you don't have to know everything going on in the Magix backend. You just have very simple to use user interface and you just say that maybe set this, set that, and uh, rest everything MagPy and Magix Python will take care of it. So first of all, we need to convert. So to actually combine these figures, that is, let's say you wanted to plot a magic plot, but you also wanted to create a scatter plot on top of that so that you could mix and match different plots. So the first thing that we will tackle is conversion of the data from magic coordinate to matplotlib coordinate, because these are two separate coordinates. So if you have a data point in the magic coordinate, you need to convert it into the matplotlib coordinate. And the second thing is making MagPy actually matplotlib compatible so that it could process the matplotlib uh, format file. And you can show it, you can manipulate it, and you can do anything you want with it. And we also plan to add documentation and create tutorials, as I said, for beginners as well as advanced tutorials, advanced users. Yeah. Thank you.